uh, hello friend uh, welcome back to this series uh, so finally i mean overally uh, we uh, get to know that uh, how SCCM you know uh, we will install and how it configure but still we are not uh, known about like how SCCM it work right it is not uh, completed okay not in so i will take uh, some uh, you know um, uh, flashback so what we have done so if you talking about uh, in this diagram uh, we have completed uh, all this you know configuration of server instead of second this server uh, instead of this server uh, but uh, okay uh, these are the points we have completed uh, last we have done the client push method and it was successfully discovered also two types of method one is manually and client put client push method that we have done successfully so now it's time to know how SCCM it's work actually okay but before that what i will do uh, these are the points we will discuss in this video uh, first we will get to know the device collection and user collection what is this actually okay so for that we have to be go to the uh, so for that uh, this is my sccm server okay so here uh, uh, in this asset and compliance uh, tab so in overview if you look at here there is a device and device collection and uh, user and user collection right so uh, whenever you configure uh, you know um, sccm and it is integrated with uh, ad so whatever the default user collection will be created these are the default user collection it will create automatically okay i'm not creating right i'm just config install the sccm right but i'm not create this kind of collection it automatically create right so what uh, user collection actually doing i will tell you uh, the user collection will help us to deployment any application any software to particular assignment particular user i mean it's called a user affinity right so um, in the user basis we uh, you know deploy the application that's called a user so to deploy the application on a user basis first we need to create the collection right without collection how can you deploy right whom to deploy users right for that you have to make the collection for the user it may be marketing group it may be hr group anybody it can be anybody right so you understand user collection right now come to the point for the device collection even uh, the way we have seen that user collections collections is a de uh, by default uh, you know created same thing and device collection also collections which uh, by default created when we uh, install the sccm and which is integrated with uh, ad correct and uh, in the device collection same thing is doing whenever you want to uh, you know uh deploy the application or uh, you know um any software we have to create the collections to uh, uh deploy uh, that application and uh, uh software to machine right so before deploying it we have to create the collection so it is easy to you know deploy uh the, any application any phases everything you can deploy it right so device for the device collection also some uh, default collection uh, has been uh, created uh after completion of sccm uh, installation right but now we learn how to create the uh, collection right so i think you understand uh, definition of user collection and device collection okay let's talk about uh, let's talk how to i mean let's see how to uh, create the collection right uh see if you go to the all system uh, there are the um, okay let's wait yeah there are the uh, four systems are there if you know this is the dc and the ccm server and these are the two clients we have created now i am uh, going to you know install another client uh, it's now in started installation not so that we will later see but here uh, there are two clients is active also and uh, the client has been installed also yes right so now we create the collection right uh, uh, for the creating collection let's come to the here uh, so we understand device collection so let's complete okay now it's time to uh, like how to create the collection let's uh, so just right click over here and uh, not here and go to the collection device collection i'm sorry uh, here just right click and create device collection oh 
it's getting very slow but uh, yes uh, so here you just keep the appropriate name so everyone can understand or you can understand right so what i will do if i make it's a windows 7 collection uh, so i can uh, like give uh, win 7 collection okay and give the proper comment so you get to know that whenever you review the collection you get to know that for whom and for why we have created you can mention the change request uh, like it's maybe a, some numbers right and uh, you can say the requested by marketing people sorry marketing people marketing department okay you can type the name like on L department okay so here you can clearly understand that this is the change request or uh, this is requested by market department uh, the requested name is on L correct so this should be in a clear so everyone can whenever you review it you can get to understand right so here the limiting collection you have to go to the browse uh, where want to take the system so you have to select the all system which is default collection and click the next you know there are the uh, role option is that there is a two important role that is a direct and a query role uh, let's talk about the direct role and uh, here go to the next uh, you can provide the name like uh, you know client right the system has been you know like i'm or here uh, attribute is name it's correct i am the client if i do the next see nothing is coming so you have to be give the exact name if i give the client 01 uh, the client uh, 01 next see now it's good so you have to know that exact name then only you can provide otherwise there is one other way another way is there so if you don't know the exact name it's all system as beginning from the client then you can give the percentage here let's see yeah whatever the name beginning from the client and the percentage is there whatever the numbers or you know name is that then it will come you can select otherwise another way is there i can tell you instead of giving all these things if you want to you know search all the machine from all the machine See, remember such uh, some machines from the all the machines which is in the SCCM then you can only give the person tile here then it will show all the systems but if you look at be required only the Windows 7 system so we know that it's a Windows 7 system right so this is uh, we called uh, um, a direct query otherwise we can call it a static query Matlab, we are giving all the static we are choose this right it's not a dynamical pickup there right it's a static query so click the next and next and close and next so uh, the query has been started and uh, uh, let's see uh, we have created this collection but still it is showing zero so we need to refresh it it might become yeah it definitely come see the two systems are came right if you click over here also you will uh, find these two uh, uh, clients are there right so we have learned how to create the direct query option and this is called a static query right now it's time to create uh, uh, another uh, that is the dynamic query what is that so again we have to do that uh, win 7 but uh, now we have to write dynamic dyn sorry seven dynamic collection c u l l e c t i one correct uh same thing change request you can change give the provide the change number so it is very a uh, good thing i uh, you know um at the time of audit or review you can get to know that requested by requested by HR department and the person name is Chitu. Okay. 
so it is clearly that i uh, know understand any anyone can understand right so let's take this thing same thing you have to take the collection here and now um we choose the query roles okay so here i can give the name here like um, uh bin 7 query bin 7 and provide the date today date is what 24th uh dot or you can say this one 10 2016 correct and you can uh, write the query of oh, yes, it is very difficult but yes uh, you have to be long uh, get to know that just click over the edit uh, query statement uh, see here there are the two kind of in general query you have to be right here or uh, the criteria you can define here if you click you can define the query all right if you don't know the query um for here you have to write so you we need to write the query so to getting this query i will uh, tell you one thing let's uh, go to the google here it is open or uh, we can go to the base machine and uh, open the uh, google here we can type sccm uh which query we have uh, take this uh, we sccm 2012 wql query right for windows 7 so here can write so there are a the lot of queries over here it is been prepared uh, you can you know no need to do anything so the second thing we can do like uh, uh, might be you know receive some query oh i've lost another page yeah okay okay so here we can get the some query for the windows 7 yeah see uh, the computer runs windows 8 since windows see computer that runs windows 7 uh, you, if your computer runs windows 7 you want to only the add the machines which are windows 7 then this is the query but if you want to run which are the windows 8 instead of workstation 6.1 you can write it server 6.1 so it will uh, detect the server 2008 r2 right so take the query and uh, go to the um, sccm and here you can write the query just paste it okay so now we just uh, okay and okay and done so it's called a dynamic query now just press the x i'm not uh, you know um, given any uh, system name or percentile to find out the system i not choose any system just write the query to detect uh, the system which are windows 7 so now close the query let's see this one right so let's refresh it refresh it again just refresh yeah if you look at this query is also came to systems already came right let's wait for some time uh, it is very slow here i don't know okay so uh, let's talk uh, so what we have completed now um we've completed this one also right query also completed okay so now uh we will learn the application and package downloading application all this thing and the next video so thanks for watching this video and uh, if you really like my video please thumbs up and uh, you can subscribe my channel to get more videos on your mailbox so thanks thanks for watching this video